And in we go. Oh, can't shoot through the bars. Never mind then. I guess I won't bother. Some money under there, lovely. So this whole area now is some sort of uh, huge, ridiculous prison. Like there's actually a whole prison just in a in a car in this train. Why? Because why wouldn't there be? That is ridiculous. The size of it. I'm surprised there's not like a whole like car of just like farms or something. A cinema. There's everything. <laughs> Who's ah? I don't know, who is? Oh, 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 oh. So, uh, I haven't really... Oh, hello. It's a big baby, guys. Check it out. It's a big baby. Baby died. Uh, so. Baby fell down. Hello? Oh no, baby friend. Baby had friend. Ow. Baby, baby mad. Baby very mad. Okay, so anyway. Uh, what was I saying? Presumably something. Oh yeah, that was it. The, uh, the, these guys. No, not those guys. The guys with the shields. Who we're just not seeing. Oh no, he's got a shield. The ones with the shields. I've just been shooting them and that's been doing the job, but you can actually use the grapple and take away their shields. But, uh, if you're aiming high, you tend to just take the head off anyway. So, it's not really... Not really a problem. See? Does the job lovely. Oh, hello. Hi there. Cool. Well, nice to meet you all. Uh, okay, now <laughs> we need to convince this guy. That's right. Press E to convince. Open this rust door. It's just so mean. Like, these guys just really have it rough. Which is why I'm not quite sure when you say open the door they, they protest. Why would they protest? Seriously. Why even bother? Okay. So. Uh. Huh. So, not only a prison, but there's also a bunch of uh, uh, gibbets here as well. So, you know. Just a medieval medieval prison nonsense. I also didn't check for booby traps. Glad there wasn't one. I do love that when you open a box, everything just, like, jumps out at you like that. It's just very exciting. Uh, I think I found a light undersuit there. Oh, oh, notice how things have got cold all of a sudden. What was that? Which was a glint of green. Oh, I think it was just a reflection from our, um, yeah, we have a we have a laser sight on this thing. Anyway, we're uh, we're in a freezer now. That's right. There's a freezer car. But just the variety on what should have been quite a boring level about just going down train cars, like really got some serious variety going on. All right, give me that shield. Give me that shield. So not much. Um, graphically shown, you know, taking a shield off, but it's nice to get the variety of gameplay in, even if it's not particularly uh, expertly um, represented graphically. Alright, alright, who's, who's doing that? Where is he? Alright, you know what? There we go. Can't possibly lose him now. There we are. Got him. There we are. There is. We haven't used our ridiculous uh, stab rage yet. You know the one. We got that. We got that melee thing as well. The strength booster, which just haven't used yet. Definitely need to remember to use that.
What the? Your lucky day, me, Ed. Now, what the hell do those iron vipers want with you so bad? Who are you, skinny? Where are my stim dogs? Never mind who I am. What do the iron vipers want with you? Those dumb orlocks? They just don't want to fight, like... No, they like fighting just fine. They'd have killed you already if they wanted you out of the way. They're working for the Silver Talon. You know that name. Huh? Last chance. Who is the Silver Talon? What do the Iron Vipers want with you? You really do ask dumb questions, don't you? Tell me! I'm getting out of here. You ought to too, Skinny. This train is headed for all up territory. So yeah, nothing's really wasted in the Undercity, as um, I'm sure you can tell. Nothing's wasted down here. Uh, I can press E to take him down, huh? You know, I've I've completed that a couple times. I never thought to murder him. Huh? Well, sorry, mate. use that was. Now how do I get off this thing? Right into the end. Where's that gonna take me? Well yeah. All off territory. No. How do I stop it? Head up front. I'll think of something. Well there we have it. So I've got more treasure, which is good. I like more treasure. Uh, but now we need to fight our way to the front of the train so we can we can shut it down. A bunch of candles. Makes sense. We're in the engine room, aren't we? Yeah, this is the engine. So classic 40k. Well, you gotta you gotta have candles, right? Because it's a it's a ritual that makes the engine go. You know, you gotta keep the. Uh, Got to keep the machine spirit happy. Kind of ridiculous, isn't it? Right, look at this thing. Big space age, and yet also just sort of industrial looking thing. Very cool. Uh, with all the flipping, I don't know, whatever it is. I want to say plasma, but no, it's LAS, isn't it? Blue. Like, LAS guns are all blue, so it's laser laser engine? I don't know. I, I don't know enough about 40k. <laughs> but whatever. It's on brand is what I'm saying. Okay. Good stuff. How are we doing? Six out of nine chests. And we're on the final car. So, clearly, clearly, we've missed a few. But that's alright. Uh... Uh, there's any here. So, the music's going. Okay, I can see someone. Hello! And you next. Nice. Alright, you there. Oh, it's a dog. Oh. Who is that for? Seriously, who who wants the dog killing? So this guy has a uh, uh, thing he wants it. Okay, Hayward passes at the top. There we are. Ooh, hello. <laughs> this was a mistake. <laughs> I mean, it's worth trying, right? I have a fist fight with a giant baby. That's what I play the games for. Wow, that guy did take a bunch of damage, though. He only shot what once, so clearly he took a lot of damage from our knife games. And we do have full health, so clearly it wasn't a giant waste. Thought there was a window to somewhere. There's nothing in there. Alright, so uh, we decorated the place quite well. Oh, wow, those intestines? 
Oh, wow! You guys have intestines? That's awesome. You know, good for you. Good for you. That, that's... Oh, that's cool. Uh, so, anyway, uh, let's go upstairs. I like the music. It's all very heavy metal. I mean, it's gotta be, eh? Gotta be. Gotta be. Ah, oh, bloody dog killing. Haywire protocol, and now I can just stab him in the head. That was a mini boss, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, same mini boss. I'm in. I'm it's going a big to shield. Stop it. Takes a while to kill. Don't. You could be stranded up there. With a whole lot of angry old locks. Use the terminal. Send it somewhere else and you can get out of there. Got it. So what I find interesting is these flaps. Uh, they appear to be attached to something here. So I do wonder, with the heating elements as well? Like, I do wonder if it's... This thing is actually like a tidal uh, generator of some kind. And these little things at the bottom, they seem to line up to the tracks. I don't know if that's actually trying to keep it steady, or if it's literally that spinning is trying to keep this um, uh, the train moving, or if this is indeed just the wheels. You know? I do wonder about how all this works. And what is like some weird energy saving measure or what. Like, it's strange. It's all very crazy to me. Cool, though. Right, let's have a look. So, obviously, candles everywhere as well. Let's hijack. Excellent. It's our ship now. Like, why does it have a wheel? <laughs> it's a train. <laughs> what are you doing steering a train? Doesn't make any sense. Alright, mission complete. We got, we got quite a few chests. Not all of them, but... Quite a few. Uh, wow, penetration on these are huge. More so than the shotguns. I guess shotguns have a spread, so it's not really high caliber, is it? Um, yeah, all right, let's take the Iron Fist. Other than that, let's leave Esh's Kiss. Although, actually, that seems to have good variety. Maybe I will take Esh's Kiss. All right, we'll take those. We'll, we'll try them out. We'll try them out. Uh, better suits. 57 is slightly better than ours, isn't it? Ours is, yeah, 53, so screw it, I'll just swap it out. Sell the rest. I don't see why we need more than one. Um, so, loot bonus, and we get resistance to fire. So, loot bonus there, and this one is just resistance to radiation, by the looks of it. Interesting. Uh, as much as I like critical hits, I mean, 3% chance to get a crit, it's not huge. As long as we aim for the head, it does the job anyway. More Archaeotech, better Radphage. Let's take that along with us. Charms, wow, we got a lot of these. 4% chance to get between 109 and 134. 5% chance to get between 103 and... Yeah, okay, that seems better. It's higher odds. So we'll take both of those. I guess I'll cover up one of them. The rest we can sell. And that's everything. We're probably going to make a lot of money out of this. Wow. <laughs> what are the chances? 11,111. It's like snake eyes, but the snake's mutated and has five eyes because it's the Undercity and everything's a mutant down it. Um, also, ooh, Lasgun skin. I mean, we're just unlocking skins, which obviously just doesn't help us in any way, but it is nice to see that there are Lasguns that we can run around with in this game. Uh, so we did, uh, we did die once. So medical and maintenance fees happening. Uh, and uh, Imperial Taxes, a thousand. I don't know what the Imperial Taxes do. I really don't get it. Uh, kill style, not actually great this time around, which is surprising. I mean, is it? I guess we did just kill most people from like a million miles away with the, you know, with the auto gun. We didn't really stab many people. Uh, I didn't really bob and weave a hell of a lot, apart from against those two boss guys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I'd made that more stylish, but whatever. That's fine. We got Class B overall. I suppose it'll do. But yeah, I really don't know what Imperial Taxes are. 
Um, I, I don't understand what this is a relation like in relation to. I don't know how you can get more or less of this. I, I have no idea. I, I really w I would like to know that. Because I'm sure it's not there just to be like, oh, guess what? You, you work for someone. I don't know if you just do really badly. You end up taking a loss. Is that the idea? But I mean, we get so much just from the bounty. It's just, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea what that is, is in aid of. Seems really strange to me. But it is what it is. Okay, let's proceed. Back in Martyr's End. The old Titan train. Yeah, yeah, I heard. There's gonna be payback for that. You know it. <laughs> yeah, probably will be payback for that. More money. So more weapons available. So tell you what, let's uh let's buy one. Blessed are the great houses of Necromunda. Blessed are our lords. It's uh, kind of ridiculous. That's uh, not just eagles, but also a skull. And uh, she's blind. Like, what is up with her? She's got problems. Also, her... Um, what do you call this? There's a specific word for this, isn't it? A little sort of plinth for books. There's a word for that. But anyway, th hers walks, which is adorable. Be careful with this stuff. And if you have to show it around, don't tell anyone where you've got it. Show me, Show what, you me got. what you got. Dog hammer. It's a combat shotgun. Hmm, might be worth trying. Deathbringer is a bolter. Ooh. Yeah, it's got a bolter. It's nine grand, but we have 25k right now, so I'm thinking screw it, right? So yeah, let's get Deathbringer. And uh, dog hammer sounds like a laugh. Although a V Panther. That looks like an AK 47. Maybe it works like one. Huh? Should we try that? Dog hammer's 12k. That would be like the rest of our money, so. Let's try out V Panther. Let's buy one of these. And we'll get rid of that. Can I sell that? Oh, I can switch between buying and selling. Okay, sell that then. I have to hold the button down, apparently. Alright, well, that'll do, I suppose. Uh, I can't sell that one, can I? No, I can't. This one is permanent because it's ours. It's our private one. Okay, cool. So we bought some new guns, uh, and now let's carve our bodies up. Uh, we can also get things for the Mastiff. I didn't use the dog once in that level. Because it's... You, you always have to squeak the squeaky toy. And so it's not like you can multitask. So you have to sort of go out of your way to sort of cool the dog in, which is uh, a bit weird. But it does just run around and kill people. I'm here for so maybe we should um, do terrible things to our dog. I hate the fact that our dog isn't already a cybernetic dog. Because if it was already a Cyber Mastiff, it would be fine. But as it turns out, I have to replace a bunch of its flesh for robot parts. Which just seems incredibly horrible. You know? Just doesn't seem nice. But hey, he seems happy. He seems happy now. With his horrible robot claws. Poor thing. Uh, Paul's armor bonus. That sounds good. Let's give him a bunch of upgrades. Alright, let's just go nuts, okay? We're going to try and use the dog more now. Oh my god, you poor, poor dog. Awful. Useful bionic provides highly developed ability to track sense. Enemy detection radius goes up. Increase head armor. Yeah, alright, let's do that. Cyber jaw. Dagger teeth. Really getting him all the things, aren't we? Screw it, it's getting all things. Also a crusher. Simple bionic add-on allows the Mastiff to easily crush his prey. Well, good. Uh, bionic body. Poor thing. This game hates dogs. I've decided this game hates dogs. Engagement range bonus. Okay. Uh, increase time Mastiff can fight before going on cooldown. Reduce Cyber Mastiff's cooldown time. Okay. Alright, well we spent a bunch of money on on ruining our dog. How much? Nobody around here can Poor thing. Let's go say hi to our dog. Hey buddy. You happy? Now that you have a beak? Oh, I'm glad I'm like, you got a handle. Although I do like that he's covered in batteries, that's fun. Oh you poor thing. 
Just, see, this is why it would be fine if he was, like, some horrible mutant monster, and then we just started, like, you know, and this was all, like, in aid of him. But no, he's a perfectly good dog before we started replacing his limbs. Poor thing. <laughs> oh, I know. I know, we're the worst humans. But you're a gameplay mechanic, so... Aw. Well, he seems happy, at least. Okay, so, we've got to talk to the bartender. Hey, girl. So what'll it be? Second best? Yeah. Where have you been? Had a train to catch. The Iron Vipers? Yeah. You heard they've just been outlawed, right? What? Damn. No. Missed opportunity, huh? Well, want to know something else? What? Where it is, they're trying to get their hands on an old generatorum back out towards Delta 7. Used to be Goliath's territory, but the Iron Vipers have taken pretty much all of it. Except for the Generatorum itself, I hear. That's still Stim Dog's territory. I don't think it's gonna stay that way for long, though. What do the Iron Vipers want with it? Oh, you'll have to find that out for yourself. I might just do that. And collect that bounty myself while I'm at it. Well, alright then. Interesting. Iron Vipers getting around. You know this place the Iron Vipers are after. Stim Dog's territory. Down below Tower 7. Yeah. Show me. Okay, well, I was just having a drink of water then, because I was expecting him to talk for a while, but... Nope. Showing us on the mission finder, apparently. They shouldn't be like that. They said it was an abandoned dome full of archaeotech. They should have also, I see what this is. Of the plants are oh, hi. Hi there, buddy. Hello. <laughs> well, he's all wrong. Sure, let's Show me what you see what you've me. got. What has he got? What's his thing? What now? Uh, what exactly does he do? Oh, oh, he sells weapon customization, so we can customize them before we go into a fight. Okay, seems odd. Don't really know why he exists, that's fine. <laughs> okay, uh, hi. Hi, Cal. Anything? You gonna... He doesn't want to talk to me. Alright, let's look at the missions. So, we do have B missions now. There are some B missions we can do. Space bar to refresh, huh? Oh. They just keep... Keep changing... It just keeps changing them, huh? That's strange. I guess you could just find the best ones constantly, but sure, whatever. Uh, unless I only have a certain amount of refreshes. That would be embarrassing. Uh, so we have no A missions or S missions yet. That's fine. So I think what we're going to do next is do a B mission. I think we're going to do a B mission next. I think that sounds good. So we have a choice of uh, Perturbator. Without ammunition, our enemies will be weaker and destroy all our ammunition stockpiles. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'll get some more water. Hang on. Okay, much better. So, uh, contact Venator Gang. I don't know the Venators. I don't know them. Um, House de Lac, I vaguely remember. From back in the day. Destroy our opponent's stock of ghasts. I don't know what that is. I don't know what a ghast is. Um, so that's interesting. Save the witches. Free the captive psychic bounty hunters before they're sold, killed, or eaten. The Gene Stealer Cult is giving us that. Flippin' egg. Like, that, that shouldn't be allowed. Uh... Perturbator again. Destroy ammo. This is for Rebel Lord, though. Defend. Uh, House Van Saar. They're big on energy weapons. Uh, defend the territory against invasion by our enemies. So Goliaths will be attacking. We defend the place. That sounds cool. I would like to get Van Saar on board. I want to play with energy weapons. And uh, Decapitation. Our enemies are growing in strength. We must weaken them by killing their chiefs and lieutenants. Contact Cold Traders. Interesting. I think we'll do this one. This is going to earn us, like, nearly five grand. It's the biggest pay. And, uh, yeah, just fighting a bunch of Goliaths at nice big targets. Pretty good when we've got a bolt gun now, right? So let's try it. Alright, so... Uh, we can only equip other pistols in this slot, though, which is annoying. Let's go with, um, Iron Fist, I suppose. I mean, let's just equip both of them, screw it. Why not, right? But we will have to get rid of Pious Legacy or Striker. Um, well, Striker, what I will do on this one is actually, uh, whoops, all right, here, uh, I want to get rid of the scope. The scope is too much. 
It's too much. Optics, too much. Uh, light magnification, reflex sight. That does sound better to me. I'll go with the standard sights. I go with the combat sight. That sounds good. Excellent. So that should be a lot more flexible now. Uh, but we're probably going to swap it out for something. I don't know if I want to use the. Do I want to use the V Panther and the uh, Deathbringer? Do these. Do I just want these to be the weapons I'm going to use? We have like no money now, which is embarrassing. We are fresh out of money. We spent it all on ruining our dog. Um, poor dog. Alright, we're going to take the bolter and attach that to it. Everything else, I think, can just wait. We'll just play it as is, I think. And uh, the V Panther, Lucky Charms. Let's see. 4% chance for... Okay, that's what we're going to do. Good. All right. And do I have anything... No, I can't, can't use anything else. I've got equipped to other guns. By the looks of it, optics. Got a little face on it. That's adorable. Uh, any skins? Just the one we got equipped. All right. That'll do. So let's back out. And let's swap our weapons out. It's going to be interesting using just two completely different weapons for this run. But hey, should be fun. Uh, you, can I swap you out for something better? Uh, resistances to radiation. I guess we'll do that. Although, who say we're going to see any radiation? Screw it, loot bonus, alright? We're going to go for, going to go for big, big boy energy. Going to get all the money. Alright, that's what we're doing. Brilliant. So I think that'll do. And we've got, we got these pistols as well to try out as well. So, you know, got a good range. Got a good range. Okay, let's give it a go. Chapter 1. Really? Why is it chapter 1? Defend. Defend the, ter defend the territory against an invasion by our enemies. Will do. Uh, is it chapter 1 because we're in the same level that we were in before? Oh, interesting. Hang on, is that who we're attacking or who we're defending? I guess this guy's on our side. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, this gun's satisfying. Yeah, this is satisfying. Well, there's a lot of them, man. Eh? Ooh. Ooh, baby. Alright, let's stab them up. They're very hurt. Just generally, a lot of pain right now. Ah. How do you know the stem? What the heck? Well, I'm glad we got some friends helping us out here. Because, uh, it's a bit much. Jesus. Ouch. <laughs> oh, let's get a dog going. Oh, Jesus. Look at this big boy. Okay. Yep, that got him. Oof. All right. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. It's all good. Flipping, eh? This is intense. All right, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Jeez. Whew. This is not easy, guys. This is not easy. Okay, I quite like this gun. Quite like all the guns, in fact. All right, wave two of two. Do we do it? Was that it? 
Oh wow, just like short and sweet. Okay, I really like that. This is really fun. Oh damn. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's excellent. Uh, 47, we got a better thing already, don't we? So we're not getting the best loot out of it, but we just get like a bunch of money all, uh, all for us, you know. So we just need a bit of cash? We'll just do a quick mission. That's really fun. Like, I get there's just chunks of maps we've already done, but like, who cares? That's that's really cool. Just to have these different objectives. I like that. Class B? Like, fine. Yeah, suits me. Treasure chest, zero of one. Those are treasure chest? Oh, damn. That's awesome. So if it's a treasure chest, do you think it's in the same area that it would have been before? Because that part of the map, there's one in the corner. In the far corner. Maybe it's in there. Interesting. Interesting. That's really cool. I like that. You want to do these little contracts. Like if you want to get some upgrades or buy a new gun or something, just do a few contracts. Like that's, that's great. Oh, that's really fun. I'm really happy with that. That's great. Especially with how long the like main missions are. Yes. Yes. I heard there's gonna be payback. Okay, more guns available, including Iron Rain. Which appears to be like a big old heavy machine gun. Hey dog. Just starting to He's a good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you are. Alright, uh so next mission, I guess. So I do quite like both of these uh I say both of these. Uh Hang on, what do I press to change? Might be time uh, to oh, Q time. is grenade, I just realised, the bottom right. I hadn't been doing that. Oh, that's so silly. So, I'm trying to think what the weapon wheel is. Um, but I can't think what it is. Z. Z is the weapon wheel. Okay, there we go. I knew there was a weapon wheel. Yeah, need to remember that. Okay, cool. I'm happy with these weapons for the next mission, I think. So, should we go to the gener uh, Generatorum, or should we just do another mission? I'm quite tempted to do another one of these. Just see what uh, see what Ghast is. This is from the Ministorum. We can do something for House Delac. Destroy opponents' docks of Ghast. I don't know what that means. But that does appear to be on the train, which is cool. Which is interesting. Is that all the first level and this is the second level? Is that how that it goes? Yeah, I think that is. Okay, yeah, let's give this a go as well. Why the heck not? It's not for as much money, but like, you know, so be it. And um, we got a lot of cash from that last mission. Alright, let's go.